Absolutely fascinating study here, guys. You know, we think of electric car batteries or home batteries, you know, even your, your batteries in your mobile phone. We think of them, we think they're just a consumer device and eventually they'll wear out and they'll have to be recycled or replaced. But it looks like that might not actually be true. Sounds crazy. But researchers have discovered a way to regenerate the batteries in all batteries, all NMC batteries, by simply adding an additive to those batteries when they're nearly at the end of life, they can put them not quite back to their new state, but increase their capacity by 76%. So we know that electric car batteries, that batteries with a proper battery management system last much longer than we thought. I mean, we're talking hundreds of thousands of miles, in some cases, more than a million kilometers. But it turns out that um, this whole lifespan idea might just be essentially a concept that in the future we'll look back and say, hey, remember when we, remember we used to think batteries were a consumable? That's no longer the case. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to have you with us. Happy New Year. What a great year 2025 has been. In many ways, it's been, for me, really, really challenging. 2026, I'm sure it's going to be equally challenging, but you know what? Let's make the best of it. If you'd like to book a paid consultation, uh, you can do so, and I'll put a link in the description below. If you want advice on what electric car to buy, solar systems, all that kind of stuff, you can do that. Research conducted by US researchers clarified why some batteries, particularly NMC batteries, age faster than expected. So look at some cells and look at what's happening in the cell. Now, the US, a US study identified internal mechanical stress caused by uneven electrochemical reactions within single crystal high nickel cathodes as a primary driver of cracking and capacity loss. So that's most of your NMC batteries, right? And the research conducted by Argonne National Laboratory and the University of Chicago found that conclusions drawn from polycrystalline cathodes were incorrectly applied to single crystal materials. While single crystal cathodes eliminate grain boundaries that can cause cracking, the study showed that reaction inhomogeneity within the individual particles generates stress leading to structural failure during repeated charge and discharge cycles. So it doesn't tell us really all that much, but what does is that Chinese researchers looked at this research from the US. <laughs> Interesting, isn't it, how they do this? Pretty smart. And then they actually uh, added a molten salt um, kind of liquid to them, which they added this to aged, a very aged high nickel lithium ion batteries, the ones that actually were actually used in electric cars. In the study, adding the molten salt restored 76% of the original discharge capacity in degraded materials, allowing lithium ions to re-enter damaged crystal structures and ameliorate structural disorder formed during long-term cycling. Now, this is one of a couple of studies I've seen this year. I'm talking 2025 here. It's not quite 2026 yet. A couple of studies that have shown that old batteries can essentially be renewed, not 100%, but to a significant percentage. And the study also showed that many retired electric vehicle battery cathodes retain sufficient structural integrity to enable regeneration at the material level. This characteristic makes high nickel cathodes a suitable target for restoration research, particularly as China's EV battery retirement market expands enormously. At this point in time, retired EV batteries are often just used in energy storage. But after that, that's when you'd probably go in and actually renew the batteries. A 2025 Chinese academic study also examined redox-based regeneration strategies for spent lithium-ion phosphate batteries, says Car News China. A comprehensive review from Yangtze Normal University and collaborators systematically compiles regeneration method or compiled regeneration methods based on oxidation and reduction reactions, outlining pathways to optimize recycled cathode materials and showing that this is actually potentially possible. You might be able to regenerate lithium ion phosphate batteries as well. Data in China shows that lithium ion battery recycling and reuse sector 
um, it has a, there's a full supply chain. So in China, there's no fields of old, you know, you've, you've probably heard about these videos or you've seen them, these videos showing these massive fields of so-called dead electric cars, right? There are no dead electric car fields in China unless they are absolute garbage cars using lead acid batteries, yeah? I mean, don't get me wrong, a lead acid 12 volt battery is not the end of the world. Most cars have them today. But lead acid batteries as your actual battery pack to supply the car. Yes, there are certainly going to be plenty of those sitting around because no one's going to want those. Crushers would be crushing those. When it comes to old lithium car, old batteries in lithium cars, in cars with, and when it comes to electric cars with old lithium batteries, though, it's a different story because they're very, very valuable. Upstream players in the market include battery and raw material recycling companies such as CATL, BYD, Shanxi Coking, and Yunnan Tin. So you can see the biggest battery companies in the world, CATL, BYD, they recycle batteries. So the recycling industry is huge, but I'm kind of wondering now, you know, if you can potentially just restore older batteries, not yet. I don't think we're in a position where we can just do this yet, but I think it will happen within the next few years. But assuming you can do this and, we, and this does happen, what happens to the battery recycling chain? I mean, it's still going to exist. There'll still be some throwaway batteries out there, but maybe not to the extent where people that people predicted it would happen. And realistically, battery packs are quite expensive. If you can regenerate them relatively simply for, say, maybe only $1,000, it's definitely going to be worth doing. Isn't this amazing? Electric cars, you can already do so much. They already so much more, in so many ways, far superior to internal combustion. And now, well, we might get to the point where really EVs are more, much more renewable than we actually thought they were. Let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks for watching. Guys, if you want to install solar panels, a home battery or a home charger, the best way to do this for your situation is to Go to the links in the description below and they'll take you to a page where you can compare everyone. So depending on where you, it doesn't matter where you live, a lot of people email me all the time saying, well, what solar system should I get? Who should I go with? What battery should I get? What electric charger should I get? Well, click in the links in the description and you can actually compare all the different choices and find the best deal for you. I'll put that link in the description below. Additionally, there is a battery savings calculator link and also a federal battery rebate calculator. I personally have found that I'm not paying for electricity at all and that's including charging my two electric cars and also running my home power, my home sauna, um, nothing, not paying anything at all. And I think a lot of people are getting misled. They think that getting a battery is not worth it. Actually, I think it is worth it. So those links are in the description below.